<laughs> hello, hello, hello. All right, so I am on the toaster's machine. As you know, I was trying to build her a more graphics-oriented load order, something that would be fun. Now, I still have some, you know, some little tweaks here and there of things that will make life a little easier, convenience for her. But a lot of this is very graphics-oriented. <clears throat> so I have Solstheim Genesis here, okay? And this is something I wanted to do a show for us on uh, Solstheim Genesis. Now, this was created by Mobius Belmont and ported by Stone Spiral Gaming. You can see from some of the pictures here that this is just a prettier, nicer Solstheim with green grasses and trees. I just thought it would be fun for it not to be so dreary and ashy and everything. So, let's see. Now, this mod is pretty good size. It's about 228 megabytes. Um, I have gone so far as to travel to Raven Rock. I did not even leave the dock. I thought, I don't know how stable this is, but I thought we could just explore this together. Okay. So, um, it is an overhaul for the entire island of Solstheim. So we're going to see how good it is. Um, ash landscape textures have been removed and replaced with other types of terrain. Grass has been added. Trees and other flora is here. Um, some that are native to Morrowind and Skyrim. Let's see. The northern half of the island has more trees, both bare and snow covered. So you're still going to have some snowy area. Ash storms and weather have all been removed. Still have a slight chance of an ash storm, looks like. Uh, but most of it looks like it's been replaced with sunny weather. So, woo, that'll be good for the show, right? Anyway, it's about 228 megabytes. It's a fair, you know, it's a, a, a you have to you have to kind of want it. But if this looks pretty decently and it's fun, I think it'll be I think it'll be cool, you know. Um I I don't know about you, but one of the things I don't like about Solstheim is it's always just so blah. I mean, the only thing interesting there are the mushrooms. Um, and maybe the bad guys, you know. So this will be, this will be more interesting at least, and it would be something different to look at. I think it'll be fun. So like I said, I'm on the docks of Raven Rock. I'm on a new character face that I created just, just to goof off and, and do this type of thing. Uh, just testing out the toaster's load order. Everything seems to be working pretty good. So... If, if this continues, then I'm probably going to leave her with this game as it is. It's Like I said, it's primarily graphics-focused. However, it's not total 100% because I did add in some convenience mods and things. And if this all tests out well, then I'll do a load order on it to, just to give you a, a glimpse. I mean, you know, I've got some basic stuff here. Uh, nothing really super fancy. Um, oh, wait, I, we don't want to get into this because we want to do Solstheim Genesis. Okay, so anyway, I, I apologize for that. I got distracted for a moment. So Solstheim Genesis, we will um, we'll pop out to Ravenwalk and take a look at that. I will see you there in a minute. Captain's Log Supplement. All right, so this is Faith. And we are here in Solstheim. We're here in Ravenrock. And I am going to get, I'm going to put her on first person here. And we're going to look around the island. Um, I'm going to dim, I'm also going to dim our HUD opacity. Sorry, I should have done this previously. Just, it'll just look a little nicer if it's dimmed. Everything looks pretty good. You'll see the trees and vegetation over there. And you'll see here, even in Raven Rock, everything just doesn't look so dreary and drab. And there's, oh, there's the moon. I did not expect that, but that's cool. And if we just take a quick walk through town here, you can see the greenery. You can see how clear everything looks, how I think it looks a lot nicer. Now, I wasn't going to look in any interiors since I don't think any of that really has changed or matters. Keep moving. But you can see the vegetation is different. 
and we should see I think we should see some Skyrim flowers out here as well though hmm, interesting though perhaps these won't be Skyrim flowers in the sense that we can pick them I don't know but it definitely looks different you'll see that they kind of modified the ash uh, plume a little bit there I don't mind that though Really, it's just nice to have this place look better, to have some grass and everything, and then the big mushrooms are still here. Yeah, and it's right. So it's pretty cool, pretty nice. I think there used to be a place out here where I think I found bandits and got into trouble, but that was with different mods, and, and those bandits may not truly exist out here right now. So that's all right. So we're just looking around. Now I'm going to take us there some spiky grass. Just trying to give you an idea of what we're looking at. Oh, there's the, the niches, right? So now I am using cathedral water. I don't know if that makes a big difference or not. But uh, that is the water mod I'm using. Oh, there's one of those places. Why well, haven't been up here? Oh, okay. We got a little bit of beach action going on here. I don't know if there's any Draugr up here or not. Or maybe there'll be some bandits. Let's just check it out for a minute. I mean, this is kind of... Yep, there's something up here. Whoa, something bad. All right. All right, we're going to... You know what? I'm going to pause the show for a minute, and we're going to go take care of these guys. Up your shaft. Alright, so I traveled up here to Castle Karstag Ruins so that you could get an idea of what some of this looks like. This door, it looks like you can go underneath it somehow. I don't know how that works. Um, but nonetheless, now I'm not using a fancy snow mod. I should have got one in here but I ran out of space and I may have to go back and make some adjustments but nonetheless that's not my fault um, or that's not the game's fault I should say so but here you can see let me show you on the map I'm, I'm near that uh, actually not too far from Serene's watch where there is a dragon and I think some droggers and different things but we're going to do some more traveling around. I just wanted to give you an idea of what's out here and what you can see. Oh, oh well, this is a waterfall. I could fall to my doom, I'm sure. But uh, I guess there's not as much to see here as I would have liked. But, but we can hop over. Maybe we can work our way around. Now here we're going to come up on those... Draugr and, dra and Dragon Ruins over here. I mean, that's definitely what we're going to hit. Yep. So I was going to try to avoid any more activity like that. That may not be possible. If not, we'll have some good fun with uh, Faith and her uh, trouble. There'll be some shows on that. I guess we're going to have to look at these ru ruins. Do you see the dragon there? He's right there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go get this party started. So this will this will come out as probably a group of shorts and fun stuff for Faith. Fascinating. All right. So if you've seen any of the little shorts, then you kind of know what's going on here. And if you haven't seen them, that's okay. Um, I was up here at Serene's Watch. We cleared this. We killed the dragon and the draugr. So... Now, there's not a lot of differences here, except the place doesn't look so ashy. It does look better. Oh, hello. I guess we had not totally cleared it. Somebody else is hitting on me. You dirty dog. There. Okay, anyway, wow, I'm just totally getting into trouble here. Alright, so anyway, I just wanted to show you what the uh, 
weather and everything, you know, how everything was looking up here. It, it doesn't look bad at all. Everything looks pretty good. I was trying to take us on a little tour of the island. They've just removed the ashiness and, and made things look better. Now it's getting in the evening time. So we're going to have some darkness coming upon us. So we'll try to see what the nighttime looks like a little bit too. Now there you can see the volcano plumage way off in the distance. Now here we're going to head back. Oh, are we at one of those little reclean places? I think we are. But we're going to head back down um, towards some other part of this island. I haven't decided where yet, so bear with me. All right, so anyway, I, you can see from here what things look like. Um, let's get up here. Now there's a little... There's a little anomaly going on here, maybe due to the lighting or whatever. There we go. It feels like it's smoothed out now. It feel, feels like there's a little bit of a frame rate drop right in the here. And when I'm over on the other sides, it clears up. You can see it clears up. And then it kind of bogs down a little bit there. I can feel the frame rate difference, and then it clears back up. So right out in here, there feels like there's something going on. It could be, let's see, what's, what's here on the map? It could be something to do with the headwaters or something out here. We'll have to go explore a little bit. I'm going to travel around. It might be the windstone. So uh, I'll come back in a minute and we'll, we'll take a look around some more. Illogical. All right, more adventures in Solstheim to be had. Friggin. I don't know why the fox is running around. I, I wasn't... Oh! The fox attacked me. That's unusual. I think our problem here with the frame rate is probably going to be... something to do with this windstone. So it could be that the the stones like that are going to cause some little frame rate drop because I'm feeling it. It's not stopping me from playing at all, but it is there nonetheless. I don't know what kind of cave is down here. But yeah, the, the issue seems to be... Oops, I may have messed up by jumping into that. Well, maybe not. I'm coming over here and I'm the frame rate. Maybe it has to do with that waterfall there. Hmm, maybe. Okay, it may just have to do with that waterfall. But really, I'm using cathedral water. I didn't really expect much of an issue there. So this is part of our exploration of Solstheim. All right. Um... Oh, ash spawn land discovered. Oh, okay. There's some workers over there. Let's go out this way and see what's over here. This is one of those camps. I can't remember if this is some kind of bandit camp or not. Yep, it's a reaver camp. Here we go. Time to end this little game. No, it's not time to end this little game. Ouch. The pirate captain is dead. Your armor will look good on me. Oh. Did he say he was going to take my armor? He can't have face armor. I had to try to get that picture, you know how it is. All right. So we're using some fairly basic 
things here except for the the Solstein mod. The Solstein mod is pretty cool. Now see we're getting some snow and I'm I'm getting a little I think it's these I still think it has to do with that stone up there. I'm getting a little slow down whenever I look towards that stone from the distance. Oh look at that. Do you see that? What is that? Okay, we're going to have to go exploring to find out what that is. That looks like a whirlwind. I don't remember a whirlwind, but I, it could just be that I don't remember seeing it quite this way. Oh, there's a horker. I guess I could avoid him and not have to kill him. Overall, though, I think just looking at the island differently and seeing it like this as opposed to being just all ash and gray and yuck all the time, I think this is much better. Huh. Oh, you know what? I need to get... Oh, look at this. How interesting. I think this just looks different because we've changed this, this so much. Yeah, here we go. It's supposed to be like this. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm going to save this game here. Alright. I just realized there's a mod I'm missing, though, for her game. And I'd forgotten about it. So, but this is the Skull Village, and this is how this is going to look. You can see the, the vegetation here. I know this is a little bit of a crazy... Um, show because of all that's going on. I'm going to stop here. I need, I'm going to go find that mod and I'm also uh, going to come back and take us somewhere else so we can look around some more. Because this is the village. There's not that much to see here. It's nice to see the trees and different things. Some of this may have already been here. I've forgotten what all it looks like here, but I don't think it usually has this much green growth. So, alright, I'm going to pause us here. Affirmative. All right, so we are back on our mission to explore Solstheim with this new mod and see how it looks. Now, I did come back and I loaded in the Hyperborean snow, and I think the snow is looking a lot better now. So just so you know, if you notice that difference, that's why. It's because I went and loaded that in, because I was like, you know, I'm tired of my snow looking so bad. And this was a recommendation. It gives me a chance to look at it while we're looking at this other mod. And we'll see what we think of it. So, if you notice here, the island definitely looks different with all the trees and grass and different things. Now we're in the snow right now. But we're going to come down out of it here. I think there's a camp down here where we can get in some trouble. We're going to get in some green grass here. That's cool. And there's the shore, and we get a little bit of that action going on. Pretty sure... I th it, it's just, this is either a quest place, or there's going to be some reavers, and I just don't remember. I never oh. Said it would be, but so maybe way, it's a quest place. Whether we succeed or not, it'll stir up some of the It's kind of funny with all the grass here and he's sitting in the Sorry, grass. Friend. I can't make anything for you down here. I need to get back to my farm. Right, they need to get back to their town. She's the unworthy. Anyway. So I think this looks good. I mean, I think the the flowers and everything looks really well. The grass, I, for me, it makes a nice change. We're still hearing that odd hum sometimes from, uh, you know, the different stones that I have not messed with. But look how this looks out here. Is this anybody I need to be aware of? An old orc. I am waiting for a good death. Oh, he wants a good death. Okay, yes. let's see if we can or give I it to him. Simply lay down and die. It would not please Malakath. No, it would not. Perhaps I can give Perhaps. you the death you seek. Are you sure about this? Yep. Mm, we shall see. Yep. Never should have come here. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, he's down. Okay, I thought maybe... 
There we go. That took care of him. Hopefully he'll be happy with his good death. There we go. Alright, for a minute he, when he had fallen down, I thought maybe something else had happened and he had gone invisible. But he had not. He had fallen down because I have paralyzed on that sword. So occasionally that does happen. Hello, Moose. I'm coming through, man. So I just want you to be able to see this, though. And I know that there's a lot of distractions. There's been a lot of playing around because I keep running into bad guys. But I think it looks really nice. Yeah, see, they've changed the ash plume so it's not so ashy. I know. Is that even a real word? I, I, I understand. <laughs> anyway, let's head on out here to tell Mithrin. And uh, I think that and maybe back to Raven Rock, and we're going to call it good. We just want to see how some things look. We might go look at... Uh, there's an abandoned shack I usually go visit. We might go look up that way to see what looks up like what it looks like up there. Overall, this place looks a lot better like this. Yeah, this place it just looks a lot better like this. By night, we reclaim. Oh, I thought somebody was going to come and attack me. So, anyway. Huh, now our moss appears to have gone pale, which that's okay. I don't mind that. That's just a different look. Did that mushroom just pop in? It might have. This is a pretty big mod, and it does make some big changes. I mean, we have to understand that. There's these people. I don't want to get involved with any of their quests. Now, if you look here, you can kind of get an idea of what the changes are like. See here? I think this is... I think this is pretty good. Um, it could probably stand to have a little better LOD, I guess. But I don't know. It looks nice. I don't know how much we can expect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change up my display here. And I'm going to give us a little bit of a picture. It might, might become our thumbnail. Hard to tell. But nonetheless, I just kind of like this. And I like the idea of this. This is so much better looking than just the, the murky, ashy stuff all the time, you know? Alright, so... I'm going to take us... I think I'm going to take us back over towards... Well, maybe we should walk out to the fort there. Maybe we should. Let me put my display back so we can see... And we'll head out towards that fort, just in general, walk out that way, and see how that does us. This will give you a good idea of what everything looks like. Oh, well, we're going to have trouble again, though, of course. This is a tough spriggan, look at that. That is a tough spriggan. Oh, and a fire spider. Wow, that was a tough spriggan. Alright, well, let's keep moving. See, I like the way this looks, though. This is so much better than all just the ashy stuff. Oh. Uh. Okay, I have wandered into Spiderville. I should have remembered this, probably. Is this their source? No. Alright. Anyway. Something else. What else? Oh, you know it's going to be a little harder to see these spiders when they're cloaked like that. 
so it will it will challenge you a little bit to uh, to see them. But that's okay. Let's head out this way. Okay, that's the fort. It looks a lot different like this. Did I just hear another spider? What's that big? Oh, I may have missed something. Hold on, let's go back out there. I see something big moving. I think it's one of those things that we want to kill. You'll have to bear with me here. Okay, it is. Yep, it is. Hold on. Let's go to the bow. Where's my bow? Faith, get your bow out. Oh, I think it just equipped the wrong ammo. No, it's got the right ammo. Oh, it's bad and mad. Look at that, the paralyzed works. It's so funny. It doesn't always work that good. Oh, he dodged. I'm switching weapons. Ugh. We'll just keep whacking on him. This is the advantage of having the paralyze. <laughs> and I admit, it is a cheat, but... But, there you go. We got him. I do not mind cheating. That's perfectly fine. Alright, so there is a little... I'm going to say that there is sometimes, occasionally, there's a little frame rate dips here. I can feel it in my eyes. You might be able to tell in the video. You might not. Um, you'll have to try it out and see what you think. It could be that I have way too much graphic stuff going on. Okay, so it could be my own fault. I may be doing this to myself. But, if so, that's just life. That's the way it is. So usually there's some ash spawns out here. See? Exactly what I meant. Oh, he's shooting at me. Fort Frost will never fall. Long live the Empire! Oh, long live the Empire. Oh, okay, so definitely going to need to take a little heal in here. Let's finish one of these guys off at least. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's have to switch back and forth. There we go. Alright, so we got a couple of them. Oh, there. He's an ash pile. Alright. There was another one. Oh, there. He's an ash pile. Okay. That's fine. Was there somebody else out here? Wait, yes, there he is. Oh! <laughs> yes, there he is. <laughs> He's up there. Let's go get him. Alright, we're coming for you, buddy. Oh, got a couple more red dots, too. Oh, well, he was one of them. Okay, so we got one more red dot somewhere. Hmm, don't know where they are. We'll go down and find them. You notice this is still kind of ashy up here. Not totally, but I mean, it's a little on the murky, yucky side. But that's okay. I mean, that's... That's just the way this is. Let's see if we can find who this is or where this is. Someone. Someone is a red dot to us. Oh, we got a couple here now. 
Oh, somebody just blew up. Okay, so we'll just keep working these guys. There we go. He's down. Now he's still got somebody behind us. I think he's in there somewhere. So I probably need to find a door. Well, he's not down here. Hmm. It acts like he's in there somewhere. I guess I don't see how to get to him. Maybe I missed something. If there is a door here. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it at this point. Let's move on. Okay, so anyway, you get the idea. You see all the... All the... The greenery and all the trees and all the mushrooms. All this out here. It looks so much nicer. And I'm going to probably snip a bunch of this, you know, do a bunch of editing and cut and snip this around. So you're going to see some of this and you won't see some of my other stuff. And I'll put that out as little crazy shorts. But uh, nonetheless, I think you see what we're getting into here. A lot of trees and a lot of greenery. It just looks a lot nicer. Oh, and a Spriggan. And Ash Bomb. Oh, are they going to fight each other? Okay. Let's see how that goes for them before we jump into it. Meanwhile, look at these rocks. These rocks look pretty good. And these don't have any of the funky lines on them. I really like them when they don't have the lines. Hey, what's in here? Anything? Oh, expert. Let's see what's in there. While they're, they're busy, you know, we'll just go ahead and do this. They don't have time for us right now. They're busy with each other. We'll, we'll all get together here in a minute. Hmm, okay. No, no. Well, it is expert, so it's going to be a little harder. Oh, looky there. Oh, and we got some stuff. Here, let me just prepare. This will be a bit of a fight, I'm sure. Maybe if I help the Spriggan, the Spriggan won't just attack me right off. He's running away. Alright, so we got the Ash on. That's one down. Let's go see if we can reason with the others. Hello! We have the gift. Well, the Spriggan's mad at us now. Oh. Okay, I'm not dead. So that's good. I uh, harvested that. I didn't mean to. Where did the ash spawn go? Okay, let's go and see. This is different. You have to look through the grass and the flowers. Wow, they went far away. Oh, they don't have much life left. Okay. Nonetheless, you can see out here and see the the netch here. We won't bother you. I just wanted to check you out. All right. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't see all of you. I'm disturbing their family outing. Nonetheless, 
you get the idea. This is this is what you're going to have. I think this is a lot nicer looking than the usual. Now, like I said, there's some places where I think you get a few frame rate drops. I think it's due to some of the special effects going on combined with all these nice plants and trees and flowers and stuff. I have to say, though, I really like it. I think it's very nice. And it could be that as you play it and get rid of those stones and those special effects that they have, that, that it will settle down and do better for you. There's the moon back behind those trees. But yeah, I think this is really nice. I like this Solstheim overhaul a lot. So I think I'm going to leave it and just see how we do with it for a while. Now, mind you, I have not had any crashes or big issues. Like I said, just a little minor frame rate drop at times. Okay? Not all the time, just sometimes. All right. So I think I'm going to call it here, and I'm going to take you to see the mod. So hold on just a moment. Transfer complete. All right. So this has been Solstheim Genesis. Now I'm going to have, I just want you to understand, I'm going to have a show, but I'm also going to have um, at least one video of a bunch of little <clears throat> shorts of us exploring the island and the bad guys we run into. <clears throat> you might see a little bit of that in the show, but probably not as much. So so this is Solstheim Genesis. It's 228 megabytes, ported by Stone Spiral Gaming, and created by Mobius Belmont. It's really good. It's really nice. Now, like I said, it's intense, and I think there's a few places where you get a little bit of frame rate drop, but it's not horrible, and it's not, you know, an unbearable deal. Um Probably, if I would let up on some of the other graphics stuff, it would be okay. Or it could be that once you do the stones and get rid of some of that glowy special effects from those stones and the hums, that that will settle down and do better. So just mentioning that as a possibility. Um, it could be just that I have too much graphics going on where, you know, I was trying to make this look as nice as possible. So that, again, is Solstheim Genesis. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. Now you got yourself a problem, partner. Everybody run! They've all gone insane.